So, as you can see here, I have got the new DYU A1F, which is a foldable e-bike suitable for cities commuting. And um, as you can see, it pulled up very small. So let's tell you a little bit about this bike. So far, I've been really impressed. And the thing that impresses me the most is the price and what you are actually getting for the price. Now don't get me wrong, you're not getting anything super, super top of the range fancy, but what you're getting is a bike that is very comfortable and practical and has just the right amount of features on it, which makes the price very attractive. So I'm going to go through our usual list that we do when we do a bike and we have our checkpoints of things that we look at, things that we like. I'll start from the beginning where we usually do with the looks. Um, yeah, it looks like a foldable bike. It's got the seam down the middle. I tend to find the foldable bikes tend to look a little more clunkier than perhaps the solid one piece bikes, but it is the extra benefit of being a foldable bike. Other than that, the looks are fine. I mean, it's got a nice little logo on it, brushed metal black. Yeah, looks great. The tires, we've got 16 inch tires, hard wearing, and they are explosion proof, it says on the write up about it. So uh, that's interesting. We'll have to uh, find out what that means. It has pedal assist and it has three levels of pedal assist. So you've got low, medium, and high. Now, the thing is with the pedal assist, what I found is quite high. The low setting will make your legs go round faster and then by the time you get to the uh, high you're taking off almost but um, yeah it does have pedal assist and it is very effective. The weight not too bad actually 21 kilo that isn't bad for a foldable bike I can manage it. The range now on the write-up it says 18 miles on throttle and 24 on pedal assist However, there is a sticker next to the throttle that says something different. So I'm assuming what's next to the throttle is if you were to just get on it and press the throttle and do nothing else. Whereas the 18 miles on throttle would be perhaps intermittent use. But anyway, I think basically what I'm trying to tell you is this isn't one of the bikes that is going to go miles and miles and miles. You're going to get a bike ride out of this, but it's going to need charging up probably after every time you use it. Gears, hasn't got any gears, um, although you can use the pedal assist to kind of create your own type of gears if you like. The motor size, it's a 250 watt motor, so that puts it quite squarely in uh, the bracket that's acceptable for the UK. The design, uh, well, it's not step through, but it's not got a high bar on it. So it's somewhere between the two. The payload. So it actually takes a fairly reasonable payload of 120 kilos. So that's pretty good. The saddle. Yep, love the saddle. Very comfortable, very squishy. On the paperwork, it says it's a leather saddle, but it's actually sprung as well. So there's suspension under the saddle and you can actually really feel the difference. Our next point is suspension. The sprung saddle is the only part of suspension on this bike other than the tires. Folding, yep, folds down, folds down nice and small. At the beginning of the video, you can see me folding it down. Um, I actually didn't fold it down as much as I could have done because I didn't drop the saddle. The saddle actually comes right down and it is a very small, compact, folded bike. The display is simple. I think it's all you need really. It doesn't tell you an awful lot. I mean, it's not gonna give you miles or any great big details. It's just gonna tell you how much battery is left using the little red line system you can see here and low, medium and high on the different levels of pedal assist. Lights and brake lights. Well, the write-up again says that it only has a front light, but actually the one we've got has got a rear light as well. So the front light comes on by using the plus button and that will turn the light on and off. The rear one actually has its own switch. So you can switch it so it's a static red light or a flashing red light. It does have mud guards and they are very effective. And when the bike arrived, I did not have to put them on myself.
adjustable handlebars yes you can twist them towards you so there's actually a little lever here where you can twist the handlebars you know more towards you or away from you and actually you can raise or lower them as well so makes them very very adjustable key in or out well there is actually no key on this because the battery is fixed into the body of the bike so no key required on this bike it's not a removable battery ease of assembly yeah this is the easiest bike I've put together. I think I've put together, this is my third now, and this is by a long way the easiest bike to put together. It came extremely well packaged, couldn't fault it at all. Everything was covered, protected, and it was a very, very easy bike to put together. So if you're worried about that, don't. It was literally, I think it took me 15 minutes and it was rideable. Um, and accessories yes you can get accessories now the back of this bike has an actual rack and you can see it's actually got a soft leather cover on it carry extra packages on it the front also has a basket now that came with the bike as well so it looks like one of those old granny shopping trolleys but it is actually very useful and I found I was using it to carry shopping so yeah there's a few other odds and ends you can get um, to complement your bike on our list of points for bike reviews, this one actually does come up extremely well. So why don't we take this for a ride? Just got it in low at the moment, which is nice. It's just a tiny bit of um, assistance, which makes me feel like I'm still pedaling. Knock it up to two. Yeah, I can feel there's a certain pull a bit more now. And then take you to three. Oh yes, oh blimey. <laughs> that's nippy. Yeah, that's making my legs go round faster. <laughs> what we'll do is we'll go down one of the side streets, I think, that have big hills. This is a big hill. That's a big hill. Let's go down that one, see how she can do coming back up it again. Starting, oh, yeah, oh, I can feel this. Just press the throttle just to give me just that little bit. So I'm in third, so high, and I've got my thumb on the throttle, and I'm doing it. <laughs> it is quite a steep hill. So uh, there we go. So you've got brakes on both sides, the back and the front. Yeah, it's a lovely smooth ride. Really, really nice. And the wheels are big enough that it's not too wobbly just riding with one hand. So, let's go down here. Okay, another hill coming up. Let's lock it to that one. So that's all we need really for that. I don't really need throttle for this. It's not, it's not quite that high that I need anything more than the throttle going. So yeah, this is a great bike. It's absolutely perfect. Okay, this is too much for it. I don't know if you can see, that is really quite a steep hill. And it's saying, nah, you're going to have to pedal faster, missus. And I can't. <laughs> what can I say? Um, not for super hills, but for quite good hills. Uh, it's very, very comfortable. It folds up very, very small. And basically, if I can catch my breath back, um, for the money, this, I think, is probably the best bike we've reviewed. And we've reviewed a few now, as you probably know. Uh, Value-wise, I think this is where I would put my money. The DYU A1F. It's great. Right, gotta get up that hill somehow now. <laughs> Thanks for watching and we would really like to say thank you so much to DYU for sending us this bike to review. Please check out our description for some fantastic discount codes to get you some money off this brilliant bike.